Have you ever heard of a continent splitting into two? It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but believe it or not, it's happening right now in Africa. The very ground beneath our feet is shifting, and the implications for the continent and its people are simply mind-boggling. In this video, we are going to explore the unbelievable phenomenon of Africa splitting into two continents, and uncover the fascinating science behind it all. Get ready to be amazed! Hello and welcome to Build to Innovate. In this video, we are going to explore a fascinating and groundbreaking topic that has been capturing the attention of geologists and scientists all around the world. We're talking about the fact that Africa, the world's second largest continent, is splitting into two separate landmasses. Now, you might be thinking that this sounds unbelievable, and we don't blame you. It's a remarkable phenomenon that has captured the imaginations of many. But it's happening. And it's happening right now. In this video, we're going to explore what is happening to Africa, the evidence behind it, the implications of this phenomenon, and what the future holds for the continent. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of this fascinating process and why it's important to pay attention to it. So, let's dive right in and explore the incredible phenomenon of Africa splitting into two continents. Africa is not splitting into two continents overnight, nor is it a sudden event. The process is a geological one that has been ongoing for millions of years. The process that is causing Africa to split into two continents is known as continental rifting. Continental rifting occurs when the Earth's lithosphere, which is the solid outermost layer of the Earth, begins to break apart. The underlying cause of this rifting is the movement of tectonic plates. The African continent sits on a tectonic plate that is slowly but surely moving apart from the Arabian plate. This movement causes stress to build up in the Earth's crust, which eventually leads to the formation of faults or cracks. As these faults become more extensive, they form a series of connected fractures that allow magna from the mantle to rise up and fill the gap. This process leads to the formation of new crust, which eventually creates a new continent. To better understand this process, let's take a look at the East African Rift System. The East African Rift System is a series of rift valleys that are forming along the eastern side of the African continent. This area is characterized by steep-sided valleys, active volcanoes, and numerous lakes. The East African Rift System is an excellent example of how continental rifting occurs. As the tectonic plates that make up the African continent begin to move apart, the Earth's crust in this area is stretched and thinned. This stretching creates faults, which allows magma from the mantle to rise up and fill the gaps. Over time, this process will continue, and the rift valleys will become wider and deeper, eventually leading to the formation of a new continent. To recap, Continental rifting is the geological process that is causing Africa to split into two continents. This process is driven by the movement of tectonic plates and results in the formation of faults and the upwelling of magma from the mantle. As this process continues, it will eventually lead to the formation of a new continent. If you are liking this content so far and find it helpful, please go ahead and hit the like button, click the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel to get more great content from us. The evidence supporting the idea that Africa is splitting into two continents is based on several lines of research. Scientists have been studying the geology, seismology, and topography of the African continent to understand this process better. One piece of evidence that supports the theory of Africa splitting is the East African Rift System, which we discussed earlier. This system is a prime example of continental rifting in action, and the geological features, such as the rift valleys and active volcanoes, are indicative of a continent undergoing the process of splitting. Another line of evidence comes from geodetic measurements, which involve using GPS data to track the movement of tectonic plates. Scientists have been monitoring the movement of the African plate and have found that it is slowly moving away from the Arabian plate, at a rate of about 2 to 3 centimeters per year. Seismic activity is also a key indicator of continental rifting. As the Earth's crust begins to pull apart, earthquakes and tremors occur, and scientists have observed an increase in seismic activity in the region. Geological studies of the rocks and sediments in the region provide additional evidence of continental rifting. For example, analysis of rock formations in the East African Rift System has revealed that the rocks on either side of the rift are different in age and composition, indicating that they were once part of a larger continent that has since split apart. All of this evidence, taken together, strongly supports the idea that Africa is splitting into two continents. While the process is slow and ongoing, it is clear that the African continent is undergoing significant changes. 
So what does this evidence tell us about the future of Africa? Well, it's important to note that the process of continental rifting takes place over millions of years, so we're unlikely to see a new continent forming in our lifetimes. However, this process will have implications for the continent. As the African plate continues to move apart, it will likely result in the formation of new oceans, changes to the climate, and potentially new landforms. It's a fascinating area of research that has the potential to transform our understanding of the planet and its geological history. The process of Africa splitting into two continents will undoubtedly impact the continent. It will affect the people, economy, and environment of Africa in various ways. One potential impact is the formation of new oceans. As the African plate continues to move apart, it is likely to create a new ocean, which could have economic and environmental implications. For example, the creation of a new ocean could open up new shipping routes, provide new fishing grounds, and impact weather patterns in the region. Another potential impact is changes to the climate of Africa. As the African plate continues to move apart, it could result in changes to the climate patterns of the region. For example, changes in ocean currents could result in changes in precipitation patterns and temperature extremes. This could impact agriculture, food security, and water availability in the region. The formation of new landforms is another potential impact of Africa splitting. As the Rift Valley widens and deepens, it could create new mountains, valleys, and other landforms. While this could provide new habitats for wildlife, it could also lead to the destruction of existing habitats, potentially putting some species at risk. Geological phenomena like this can have notable impacts on people and economies. For example, volcanic eruptions can disrupt air travel and agriculture, earthquakes can cause damage to infrastructure, and tsunamis can devastate coastal communities. While it's impossible to predict with certainty the exact impact of Africa splitting, it's clear that this process has the potential to reshape the continent in crucial ways. As Africa continues to split into two continents, it's important to consider what the future could hold for this region. While it's important to predict with certainty what will happen, there are several potential opportunities and challenges that could arise. One potential opportunity is the creation of new resources. As the African plate continues to move apart, it could result in the formation of new mineral and oil reserves. These resources could provide a significant economic boost for the continent, helping to drive development and create new jobs. Another potential opportunity is the creation of new habitats. As the Rift Valley widens and deepens, it could create new ecosystems, providing new habitats for wildlife and opportunities for ecotourism. This could help to promote conservation efforts and create new economic opportunities for local communities. However, there are also several potential challenges that could arise as a result of Africa splitting. One challenge is the potential for conflict. As new resources are discovered, there is a risk of competition and conflict over who has the right to access them. This could lead to political instability ability and unrest. Another challenge is the potential for environmental impacts. As the climate patterns of the region change, it could lead to challenges in agriculture and food security. It could also lead to the destruction of existing habitats and put species at risk. Looking at other regions of the world that have undergone similar changes, such as the splitting of the supercontinent Pangaea, we can see that these changes have had significant impacts on the regions involved. However, they have also created new opportunities for growth and development. As Africa splits into two continents, there are both opportunities and challenges that could arise. It's important for us to continue to study and understand this phenomenon so that we can be better prepared to respond to these potential impacts. With careful planning and management, we can help to ensure that the splitting of Africa is a positive force for development and growth on the continent. What do you think about Africa splitting into two continents? If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. We love hearing from our viewers. Be sure to subscribe to get more content like this. Thanks for watching.